Welcome to the Search Engines video of VideoTeach project which introduces you to how search engines work and also how to identify and select proper resources. Let's begin. A search engine is a software program that helps people find the information they are looking for online using keywords or phrases. Search engines are able to return results quickly, even with millions of websites online, by scanning the internet continuously and indexing every page they find. When a user enters a search term, the search engine looks at the website page titles, contents, and keywords it has indexed and uses algorithms, step-by-step -step operations, to produce a list of sites, with the most relevant websites at the top of the list. Google is the most used internet search engine. Google search takes place in the three stages, first, crawling. Crawlers discover what pages exist on the web. A search engine constantly looks for new pages to add to its list of known pages. Once a page is discovered, the crawler examines its content. The search engine uses an algorithm to choose which pages to crawl and how often. Second, indexing. After a page is crawled, the textual content is processed, analyzed, and tagged with attributes and metadata that help the search engine understand the content. This also eliminates duplicate pages and collects signals about the content, such as the country or region the page is local to and its usability. Third, searching and ranking. When a user enters a query, the search engine searches the index for matching pages and returns the results that appear relevant on the search engine results page, SERP. The engine ranks content on several factors, such as the authoritativeness of a page and the keywords. How do search engines personalize results? Search engines personalize results based on digital searcher profiles created from user data. User data is collected from the application or device a user accesses the search engine with. User data collected includes the following. Search history. Search date and time. Location information. Audio data. User ID. Device identification. IP address. Device diagnostic data. Contact lists. Purchase history. What are the advantages of using search engines? Variety. An internet search can generate a variety of sources of information. There are results from online encyclopedias, university studies, or personal blogs. This variety allows to choose the types of sources or to use a variety of sources to better understand the subject. Precision. Search engines do have the ability to provide refined or more precise results. Putting quotation marks around a set of words will bring up results with the exact same words, excluding others. Some search engines, such as Google or Yahoo, enable you to specify the type of web sources to be searched. Ability to search more precisely allows you to cut down on the amount of information generated by your search. Search engines within a website allow you to search information only on that website. Organization. Search engines aid in organizing the vast amount of information that can sometimes be scattered in various places on the same web page into an organized list that can be used more easily. What was the first search engine? Archie, from the name, Archives was the first search engine created in 1990 by a student Alan Emtage. Although there were some indexing programs before, like X.500 or Whois, Archie was the first real search engine that was capable of finding specific files on the internet. Archie worked pretty simply, it looked at the sites available on the internet and indexed them as downloadable files. However, it could not index the content of the sites and therefore the result pages had the form of a simple list. Most used search engines Google. With over 85% of the search market share, Google is the most popular search engine. 95% of the traffic is from mobile. The large traffic potential makes Google a viable option when aiming to capture organic or paid searches. Second, Bing. Google's biggest contender rakes in 7% of US searches desktop searches but only 1.5% of mobile searches. Bing's search pages look remarkably similar to Google's, with the same categories and a similar white background. Bing additionally offers Rewards, a program that gives you points when you search or shop on the engine. You can then redeem those points for gift cards, non-profit donations, and more. Third, Yahoo which is powered by Bing, so the search results are quite similar. Yahoo has over 600 million total monthly users. The great thing about Yahoo is that it offers also email, news, online shopping, games, and more. Fourth, Russian search engine Yandex, which has roughly 2% of the worldwide market share. It is the most used search engine in its home country, with Google on the number two spot. Yandex has many quality indicators it can display alongside search results. 
One of them is the Site Quality Index, SQI, which indicates how useful your site is to users. Fifth, DuckDuckGo which doesn't track, collect, or store any information about you so you don't have to be afraid of ads. It's worth noting there are still ads on DuckDuckGo, just not personalized ones. With nearly 94 million daily direct searches as of 2022, it's slowly gaining steam in the search market. Sixth, China's largest search engine, Baidu. It is capturing over 40% of China's search market. Baidu looks similar to Google, besides being in Mandarin, with a white background, blue links, and green URLs. However, the search engine censors certain images and blocks pro-democracy websites. Thank you very much for watching this learning video. If you like it, you can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the Project Videoteach at videoteach.eu. All the content of this project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.